741. All right, your focus question for today is how can I determine the angle measure? How can I determine the angle measure formed by a tangent and secant that is on the point of tangency? How can I determine the angle measure formed by a tangent and secant that is on the point of tangency? Well, I'm going to tell you in a minute. Who remembers what a tangent is? Uh, where the line that um, intersects one point on the circle. It needs to circle. Exactly one point on the circle, right? Line intersects a circle at exactly one point. So a secant is a line that intersects a circle at exactly two points. So if you got a circle, <clears throat> hey, Mitchell, okay, take a look at this line right here, this moving line. What's it called, right? What's this line called? What's this line called right here that's moving? Is it touching the circle yet? No. No, so it's called a line, right? It's, it's, a, it's a line. Now, what is it called? A line. Still a line, isn't it? Yeah. How about now? It's now it's a tangent, isn't it? Now, it's a secant. Intersects the line in two places. Now it's a tangent again, isn't it? Okay. So there is a secant. So draw a line through a circle. And then... Draw another line through the circle and make sure they intersect inside the circle. Okay, so you got two secants that intersect a circle inside a circle. They form four angles. Angles one and three are congruent, aren't they? They're vertical angles. So are angles two and four. All right. These two secants intersect the circle at four places. Label that A, B, C, and D. All right, and in this section, you're going to be dealing with two secants, two tangents, and tangents and secants that intersect inside and outside of the circle. And you're going to be finding angle measures and arc measures. So, in this case, here's your first formula. Angle 1, this angle right up here, this red angle right here. Angle 1. Angle 1 is equal to 1 half 
times arc AB plus arc CD. The red angle is equal to one half times this arc plus this arc. All right. And if you know angle one, you know angle three because they're congruent to each other. All right. So angle two is equal to one half times arc BC plus arc AD. So this blue angle is equal to one half times this blue arc plus this blue arc. And if you remember from earlier in the year, angles one and angle two, uh, they're a linear pair, right? So angle one plus angle two equals 180. All right, so does angle two plus angle three, and three plus four. You have three linear pairs there. Now that's any time that two secants intersect inside the circle. Okay? You could be asked to find the angle measure and they will give you the two arcs. The other thing that will happen is they will give you, they'll give you the angle measure and they'll give you one of the arcs and you'll have to find the other angle measure. And when that happens just plug the information into the formula and solve for the missing arc. Turn the page. Page 742. A tangent intersecting a secant at the point of tangency. When a secant intersects a tangent at the point of tangency, it creates two angles. You've got angle one here on the right, angle two on the left. In this case, angle one is equal to one half times arc AC. So this red angle right here, that angle measure is equal to one half of this arc right here, this red arc. Angle two is equal to one half of arc ABC, the major arc on the other side. Angle two is equal to half of arc ABC. So the blue angle is equal to half of the blue arc. What is the red angle plus the blue angle equal? 180, good. What is the red arc plus the blue arc equal? 360. 360, very good. Bottom of page 743. You got three more formulas I got to give you. Two secants that intersect outside a circle. Two secants that intersect outside a circle. They intersect at point A. All right. 
right, in this case, angle A is equal to 1 half times arc DE minus arc BC. So this angle out here, angle A, is equal to 1 half times this red arc minus the blue arc. And it's going to be the bigger arc, the bigger intercepted arc minus the smaller intercepted arc every time. Because you have the difference has to be a positive number. Because that positive number is getting divided by 2, which will keep it positive. And it's going to be an angle measure. The larger intercepted angle minus the smaller intercepted angle divided by 2. You may also get the angle and one of the arcs and have to find the other arc. If that's the case, then just plug it in. If you're given this angle measure, maybe this angle measures 50 degrees, and this blue arc is 60 degrees, and they ask you to find this arc. Take the information that's given and plug it into the formula. 50, yeah. Uh, this won't be 20 now. I don't know, I'm going to plug it in. The angle's 50. It's going to equal 1 half of what's DE? X minus 60. All right, so you multiply each side by 2 and you get 100 equals X minus 60. And you add 60 to each side. So this is equal to 160 degrees. Because what's 160 minus 60? 100 divided by 2 is 50. Okay? So you can be given the two arcs and asked to find the angle, or you can be given the angle and asked to find one of the other arcs. All right, now you're going to get a circle. with a tangent and a secant, but they intersect outside the circle. The rule is the same. All right, When they intersect outside the circle, angle A is going to be equal to 1 half times the big arc which is arc DC minus the smaller arc, which is arc BC. All right, angle A, this angle right in here, it's going to be equal to one half of the red arc minus the blue arc. Two tangents. Two tangents intercept a circle. Same rule applies. Angle A is going to be equal to 1 half times arc BCD minus arc BD. All right. 
the angle formed by the two tan tangents outside the circle is going to be equal to one half times the difference of this large arc minus the smaller arc. What's red arc added to blue arc going to equal? 360. 360, good. All right. So if they only give you the blue arc, how could you find the red arc? 360 minus the blue equals the red. What's 360 minus the red? The blue. The blue. Very good. All right, so with these three pieces of information, the angle measure, the large arc, and the small arc, they can ask you to find any one of the three. They can give you the angle and ask you to find the large. Okay? You're going to have to use the small arc. Clear? Questions? Yeah.